Hello, everybody. This is Catholic Dad, episode number 298. Who would you rather do business with? I was actually thinking about something today. Uh, like most days, I think about things. And um, I was trying to think about who would you rather do business with? And I'm not talking a Catholic or a Protestant. I'm talking uh, because who knows who's more immoral and who's uh, less, less trustworthy. I mean, really, who do you want to do business with? The people you want to do uh, business with are somebody that got your back in case of a hard time, somebody that's trustworthy, will pay you back everything they owe you, uh, somebody that if you get into a pickle that they'll, they'll be able to bail you out and uh, like uh, take care of you. And I'll tell you, the kind of person I want to do business with is the kind of person that if things go uh, bad in my, in my situation, my life, my, you know, my, I get hurt and I can't work anymore, that they're there uh, to use the business to take care of the family with regards to my assets. Like somebody with a complete moral integrity. That's who I want to do business with. But let's, uh, let's think about this and let's use generic, uh, generic terms here. Who would you rather do business with? Uh, somebody who uh, abides by Catholic uh, philosophy or Protestant philosophy or theology. And so here's the, here's the Protestant philosophy or theology. And you can tell me if I'm wrong, uh, but this is what uh, I've heard people say it is, and this is what I believe it to be, that if you proclaim, uh, proclaim the Lord Jesus Christ as your risen Lord and Savior, uh, that you will be saved, and that you, once you decide that you're saved, that there's no going back on it, and no matter what you do in your life, thereafter that you're going to be saved and you're going to be raptured into heaven when the time comes, um, so, you know, are you saved? Meaning, are you going to go to heaven? Yeah, I'm saved. And so therefore you believe you're going to heaven. Catholic theology and philosophy is this, that, um, we have a prefrontal cortex and we have uh, the capacity for right reason, but we also have free will and we have the capacity for great sin. And that there are things in this world that are, uh, gravely offensive to God. Uh, mortal sin is what they are. They include the Ten, Com Ten Commandments um, and much more, you know. And so that if we as Catholics, we believe this, if we have mortal sin on our soul, that we are going to go to hell in the time of our death and that hell should be the most fearful place on the planet. And therefore, um, that Catholics, when they, when they have mortal sin on their soul, if they believe it, by the way, a lot of Catholics don't believe this, but if they believe mortal sin... Um, if you have it on the soul at the time of your death, if you have it on your soul and you haven't confessed it, then you will go to hell. Um, then uh, Catholics have to go to confession. And, and once they get mortal sin on their soul, they have to go to confession, rust to confession, uh, so they can get that more stain of mortal sin off their soul. That's, that's a typical Catholic uh, viewpoint, the Catholic philosophy. And then the Protestant philosophy is that you, uh, you uh, do proclaim the Lord Jesus Christ as your risen Lord and Savior, and uh, you're going to go to heaven no matter what, no matter what you do in the future. Catholics don't believe that. Catholics believe that if you actually choose through your free will sin, that you can actually be condemned to hell. Now, who would you rather do business with? So I like people with high moral integrity. Um, can Protestants have high moral integrity? Absolutely, for sure they can. Can Catholics have high moral integrity? Absolutely, for sure they can. Can Catholics have very low moral integrity? Absolutely, for sure they can. Can Protestants? Yes, same thing. People are people no matter where they reside. But people that abide by the traditional Catholic teaching and people that abide by the traditional Protestant teaching. So if I tell you, I'm Catholic dad, and I believe that if I get mortal sin stained on my soul, I'm going to go to hell in the time of my death, and I would have to rush to confession and make things right to be able to go back to heaven. That's, that's one position. Versus the Protestant businessman that says, Protestant dad says, I'm already going to heaven no matter what I do. Let's do business. I can tell you what, I would much prefer, and I'm sure you would too, and I'm sure everybody, even the Protestants out there, would much prefer. If you're going to do business with somebody that you're not entirely certain of, you want the person you're doing business with to fear the pains of hell in their own personal life. Because if they're, if they're going to do business with you and they're going to rip you off or they're going to steal from you or they're going to lie to you or, you know, they're going to deceive you or they're going to bear false witness and all the things that people do when they're practicing business. Um, if they're going to do that and they fear hell, then they're not going to do that, right? Because then they're going to have to run off to confession. The priest is going to tell them, listen, for penance, you got to go make things right. You got to go talk to the person. You got to, right? Versus if, you're, if your philosophy is this, I'm already going to heaven no matter what. Well, we're doing business here and now it's different and Jesus has already saved me. Yeah, no, that's somebody you can't really trust uh, too much because 
um, if they have no fear of hell and they have no fear of like um, uh, the wrath of God, right? Um, then what's going to drive them to do what's right when their lower appetites, you know, the materialism that's in their soul, uh, you know, their fallen nature wants more or wants to like dominate the other person. Their fallen nature wants to like win the business deal. Uh, will, they, will they be a completely honest? Well, they might not be. But the Catholic or the person that believes that hell is real, it's for you, like not you, but me or whoever's doing the business, that hell is there for everybody. And if they exercise free will and create sin, then they're going to it. That person's going to have an internal check on their life where they're not actually going to do uh, be a dishonest broker with business deals. And I can tell you what, I'm a businessman. I am. I'm a physician. I run some businesses. I have a couple of them now. Um, and any business deal I've ever done, any time I've ever negotiated salaries, and any time I've ever negotiated or insurance rates and stuff like that, I always do what I believe is absolutely right, period, even though I know I can get a better deal by being a harder negotiator and so on and so forth. And so, um, well, anyway, this is Catholic Dad making you think about it. Um, if you're doing business with somebody, you want somebody that's got your back. You want them completely honest. You want complete integrity and utmost integrity. But I would believe if you had the choice between one of two people, one that feared the pains of hell in their life and knew it was real if they're dishonest with that business deal versus the other that said, well, I'm going to heaven anyway. And if I'm a little dishonest with the business deal, I'm still going to heaven. That person's not as trustworthy as this person. And so I would say in terms of business deals, Catholic theology and the Catholic position is a much more trustworthy position than the traditional Protestant uh, position. Well, anyway, this is Catholic Dad making you think about it. Please like or subscribe, get the Mass, and pray the Daily Rosary. God bless you all. Oh, and uh, by the way, those of that's Catholic and Protestant, what about the secular world, the secular materialist that's non-religious? Can't trust them at all, can you? Well, you can if they have the utmost integrity, but what if they don't fear hell at all? Well, the fallen nature of man is quite strong, and the devil never sleeps, so it really is important to be grounded in the reality that hell is real, you know? Hell is real and it's for you. It's for me. It's, you know, it's for whoever does the bad business deal. God bless you all. Like or subscribe, get the mass, and pray the daily rosary. Take care.